Christmas in July, planting seeds in August, fake chicken by September, and a guy who learned a better way to suck his own dick all year round. Yep, like lung problems in Tampa, we're back and bigger than ever. Maestro, play that funky music nondescript race agnostic boy. He's got awful breath. (laughs) It was on Squirter Night. (laughs) What'd you get at the grocery store? 15 pineapples. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Needless to Say. I am Dave and joined, as always, by Craig and Brad, two guys who were once themselves seeds who should have never been planted by their fathers. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? Awesome. I uh, like, I joke. was also a surprise that showed up in a mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> From the mailman. Oh, I didn't think shit. we planted that one. <laughs> Let's name him Brad. <laughs> How was your week, Craig? Oh, uh, it's it, you know it's better now. I ended up having today off. Did some shit around the house. So, as a matter of fact, I did some shit around the house. I pressure washed the inside of my shed to get it pre- prepared to paint. Yeah. So if I keel over and die, it's probably from all the chemicals that have been spilt in there that was just <laughs> spraying into my mouth. My mouth tasted funny when I was oh done. I was like, this, I'm thinking this fucking, it was bad. 47 years of abuse and fucking latex paint is going <laughs> to take you out. <laughs> no, have not, you seen how old that shed is? That's lead paint. That's Oh, that's lead paint. And then not only, but you know how much fucking it's like the shit nicotine I counteracts the lead. <laughs> I, I've spilled shit on the floor in that shed that there's fucking like lawsuits for right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ghost of your shed just go mesothelioma. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're just you know, gonna put Jim Sokolov's face on the yeah, side of your shed. There's like class action lawsuits for the shit that I've spilled in that Craig shed. Inadvertently has vaginal mesh. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but the week started off rough. You just, have a bunch of toxic Indian Avengers yeah. coming back to life. <laughs> Yep. (laughs) Oh, shit. Now, the week started off rough. It was so unbelievably fucking hot at the beginning of the week. Fuck the beginning of the week. And I get it. Yes. No, it wasn't 105 like Arizona and shit, but Arizona didn't have 83% humidity. You know what I mean? (laughs) When the visibility is down on a crystal clear sunny day because the air is so thick. That's tough. The, yeah. We didn't yeah. move here for this. Yeah. I know you've never left here, but me and Dave mm. weren't always here. We didn't choose to live in Rhode Island for this weather. This yeah. is not what I signed up for. And anybody who says you're surrounded by water, you're an idiot. Go fuck yourself. It's New England. Yeah. <laughs> I've had August days where I'm putting on a hoodie. Yeah. Okay. So this exactly. has been obnoxious these last two years, ever since I bought this fucking house. But that's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> But it's not even cooling off at night. That like no, the lows at was, night are like eighty. Yeah, that was the thing, and I was I was fucking miserable because, you know, going to work my first job. I'm like, I work indoors, you know, like I'm in people's houses. Put you know, putting floors in, <clears throat> and first job we go to, it's on Monday is second floor with big picture windows, no fucking air conditioning. <laughs> now this lady lives in Barrington, which Barrington is like the posh fucking town. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's, it's Newport light, but yeah. yeah. And I'm like, lady, you don't have fucking air conditioning. I hate you. Like, wh- th- uh, like you live in this giant fucking beautiful home. How was the tip? What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got the tip. Got yeah, I got just the tip on that one. <laughs> And then, so I was fucking furious, and then this, and then it just continued on like that all week. So I was just having a bad week. So then I just capped off my week by, um, I last week I explained about buying my ten dollar white bathing suit, <laughs> your, your saran wrap with a drawstring yeah. that didn't. My neighbors didn't approve. 
<laughs> I got to tell you, I, I yeah. was hesitant to show up at your house, and it was like, well, um, I don't know, maybe it's a little late in the day. That wasn't the reason I wasn't going to yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> Craig swimming in overhead projector sheets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. But uh, so anyway, I, <laughs> so I was like, let me go get another bathing suit. So I go, now this is after being miserable at work, hot. I go to um, Kohl's. All no, right. Nothing. They have two bathing suits fucking for a fucking truck. I mean, they did were. You, did you get me a pair? They were like, no, they were like 54. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's for you and Fran. Yeah. It's like a bicycle it, it built for two. Ridiculous. I could have cut <laughs> them in half. I should have. I probably should have bought them and just stitched them into two pairs. Right. Cut them in yeah. half. Yeah. Why'd you, Craig, swim like a mermaid? Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, no, it's made for you and like your kid that can't swim yet. You throw him in the back one and you just swim around. Yeah. <laughs> what the fifty four? Yeah, it was insane. So then I go to uh, I go to Target. Pretty much the same thing. It was all like like uh, double XL, triple yeah, XL. You know what? It's it's like it's, late in yeah, the it's summer late for in them. The season, so I get that they're gonna so. start stocking like fall stuff. Yeah, now. so already stock, out. Target's already got it out. Yeah. Flannel masks. Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> can't wait. Yeah. So I said, you know, so I walked through there. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I'm like, I, you know what? Walmart is right there. So I'm like, I'm going to run into Walmart, even though I don't like the place. I already know it. But it is right but there. It's, so it's right you, there. you went into Seacon. I'm like, let me grab it because other than that, I'm going to order it on Amazon. And instead of wait, I'll just get it right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But so sure enough, I walk into Walmart. I was not in there fucking 30 seconds. And I wanted to see, I wanted to see a gunman. <laughs> Craig's in there, and all of a sudden he goes, "All right, he's yeah. like, yes, yeah, yeah. I'm like get him, get him." You know, <laughs> I just checked my watch. I'm like, "Who had 12:05?" Yeah, <laughs> I, I fucking want to see all of the Walmart's burn, but at full capacity. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I can't. Why is everyone such an asshole? It is like it's, its own rude. little, like, like isolated island of dicks. We were talking. It is. It's like it's. It's like the people you that was see. The name of the bathing suit, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made by dick holes. Yeah. It was the people you see in Walmart. You don't ever see any place else. Yeah. Like you'll bump into people in Kohl's or Target, like you mentioned, a grocery store, and you'll be like, uh, they look familiar. Like they're just facial recognition. You go into Walmart, and you're like, what the fuck do these people come from? Like, why are there so many busloads of people from Missouri? Up here in Rhode Island. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. There's not even a train here. Where's right. the other side of the track? <laughs> right. Right. right when I walked in, I watched a woman pushing her cart. You, now, you know, you have the lanes for the cart, and you then you have, like, the clothing area. So this woman's in, it's the woman's clothing area right when you walk in. Yep. And she's there, and she goes, the quickest route to the main lanes of the store is basically through two racks of clothes that are very close together. Yeah. And she just fucking plows through them. Instead of just going around, she just plows through them with clothes just falling on the floor <laughs> and just keeps going. It doesn't even care. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know? like, And and just watching, I just fucking start watching people in there. Oh, it's, and and it's, it's like, what the fuck it's, is wrong? It's with not you? even fun. It's infuriating. Yeah, it's infuriating. It's just zero fucking... Um, like consideration for anybody else or anything. Yeah, it's just the, fuck. It's it. consideration for more of them. Yeah. Yes. I mean, if you think, of, and I hate to be like that because I, I have shopped there. I've shopped there last yeah. weekend. There are certain things I can only get at Wally World. Yep. And that's fine. But I get, I you know, like when a, a stereotype stops being a stereotype because it continues to prove itself true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really what happens there. I saw a woman in there, and I, uh, you want to get on me for body shaming, fine. Find another show. Yeah. But I saw a woman who had breasts that probably warranted like a zoning restriction. Yeah. <laughs> and she was in one of those late 70s, early 80s, terry cloth tube tops yeah that look like they were like lampshades they had little like fringes on the bottom yeah. but the thing is she had to keep it like almost at her, at her belt waist. at her waist yeah. it was like a belt to cover her breast yeah. and not get an indecency citation <laughs> yeah at the seekonk walmart <laughs> yeah and i was both mesmerized by this one i followed her 
I follow her. <laughs> I already had pop figures in hand. I was good. Yeah. I was good. I followed her for a good three or four rows. And <laughs> she bought everything I imagined she would. Yep. Like basically nothing out of produce. She just skipped that section. Oh, yeah. Time. But frozen food cleaned Fro- up. Cleaned, cleaned up. Yeah. up. And ironically, past the lean cuisines. Who'd have thunk it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? But Hungry Man. I didn't know that was still a thing. Yeah. Well, we found her. She's hiding the Hungry Man <laughs> inside of her breast. <laughs> I've never seen torpedoes like this. These things should be attached to a fucking bomber. <laughs> her, her nipples. Two deflated footballs clipped to a fridge. <laughs> Her nipples probably the size of Thanksgiving trays. <laughs> it looked like just the beginning of a hot o- hot air balloon f- fan. Like, you know, like, when, they're just, <laughs> when they're just starting to fill up. <laughs> I have no doubt she had the gas to fill it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm with you, man. Walmart's an interesting it's, place, man. It's just not. It's not the store. It's not that. It's just the fucking rude, obnoxious. The, self-entitled, self-important fucking There is assholes. a culture that goes with Walmart. Yeah. It has a culture of, of core, like, customers. It, that, and that's that's all, the only way I can yeah. think about Around it. Around this country, Walmart has been a place where you can buy popcorn and guns on the same yeah. trip. Yeah. And I think that appeals to a certain set of people. Maybe people don't enjoy strolling the mall or shopping online. You know what? I don't knock Walmart. I don't knock Sam no, that's Walton what I'm for saying. building I'm, it. But yeah. uh, we've proven with Target and with and even Kohl's to a certain extent that you can get a variety of things in one place without lowering yourself to trash standards. Yeah. But I almost feel like the reputation that Walmart built in the South just followed it. And and people magnetically just are drawn to it. Yeah. I'll go in for what I need, but I can't wait to get the fuck out of there. That Walmart's usually my last resort. Yeah. yeah. Like I got I had to we were we actually got the kids bicycles this summer. Like because they've grown. They they're bigger. They grew yeah. out of their old bikes. The only place I could find them where I could go pick them up was Walmart. And it was one down in, in southern Rhode Island. It's so like fuck it. So I, I did it so I could go I bought them and go pick them up. So I walked in fifteen feet and stood there for five minutes while they rolled right. them out. Yeah. And left, but even that, I was wa- looking around like, what? Where do these people come from? Well, yeah, it's it's like it's amazing. like they they before they even get in the parking lot, they decide, all right, everyone buckle up and relax everything. Like we don't give a shit for the next twenty minutes. For the ne- yeah, it's insane. It's, I don't get it, man. It's just so. Fucking- I think that reputation precedes it. That's kind of what I meant by when the, the the vibe of Walmart from down south came up here. You 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 when you think of Rhode Island, you don't think of people being trashy, right? Okay, that's not to say that those people don't exist. They exist they everywhere. They There's rednecks everywhere. in every state mm-hmm. in, in the union. Everywhere. But it, again, it's it's like moths to a fucking bulb. Yeah, it's amazing. It was just it was. Um, I just fucking hate going in there. But I do. I like going in there. But I hate it because <laughs> I like going in there because, like you said, you can fucking walk through that place and walk out like with you got like. I didn't come here for any of this. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but, it's one of those but, places where you need to plan to go there so you can mentally prepare on your drive over for what you're going to get into. Yeah. What you did is you're like, oh, fuck. Fuck. Is right. it a Walmart? I'm already in a bad mood. Right. And it's yeah. on the other side of the parking lot. Yeah. Let me just fucking go over there. And this is and going to it. directly touch my balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Sure enough, they didn't have it anyway, so I walked through there for nothing. Oh, that's and the then, worst. And that was the worst part. So, yep. Did they have a terry cloth one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, probably somewhere. <laughs> Just absorb half your pool, like oh. this woman yeah. should. <laughs> so I got my, I got my uh, Amazon fucking bathing suit coming in, so that should suck. I really, <laughs> nah, I who really knows? do want to thank fun. you for having us last weekend and for not wearing that bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> No I have an impressionable children and one boy who doesn't want to grow up looking like that. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, Craig doesn't have an impressionable physique. Yeah. <laughs> no, Craig was great. He had us over last week. And Dave, uh, we, we tried to coordinate it. It didn't work out. No, the, the, we the decided at the 11th hour we are going to just zip over there. Ended up spending three hours over there. Yeah. Had a great time. Kids hopped in and uh, Ethan thinks he knows how to swim because his feet are on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> So I got to hand it to him in that sense. Yes, you can, son. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're <laughs> not drowning. Way to you're go. standing up. You are yeah. literally. Tre- <laughs> you are treading water with both your arms and your legs. Yeah, <laughs> and good for you, pal. Uh, that was about it, though. The rest of your week was all right. Or are you happy it's Friday? Because there's, happy two, it's there's Friday. two Craigs. <clears throat> no, I'm happy it's Friday. Good I'm just glad to go. be here right now. Well, you know? and that makes one of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was it, the weather, like you said, was shitty, man. Like. Half the week, I didn't know if I had if I was just sweating or shit my pants. I didn't know what was happening. 
I went through twelve pairs of underpants between by Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. Just, it's it's like, just fuck brutal. it. Fucking that was brutal. awful. It's funny because I went back to your college yearbook and your nickname was Sphincter Control. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Picture was all blacked out. <laughs> it's just a Craig. Did Craig listen to me? Dave going, oh, yeah. <laughs> making that oops face. Yeah. <laughs> Finger on your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Good week, Dave. Yeah, it was. It was another week. I had. I had an interesting thought the other night, and it was spawned from a conversation my wife and I had. We heard a story, kind of third person. You know, we were talking to this other person, talking about their friend. Their friend was dating this chick for a while who apparently didn't smell right in the right places. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. I dated her. Oh. And, didn't, and didn't know how to tell her. And the yeah. thought I had in my head is, well... If you talk about it, no matter how smoothly you do it, it's, that relationship's over. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but like but for the greater good, you've done your job, right? Yeah. Like in this, but this, this looking didn't, out for the next guy. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. didn't stop him from doing anything that you would do in a normal, intimate relationship. Really? Yeah. Oh dear God. Yeah, he kept doing everything that he. Ugh. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. Poor so I don't know if he looked like Michael Phelps with the nose clip when he was all. Was I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> It's on a skull cap. <laughs> he hangs one of those like cock Christmas trees on the side, like. <laughs> Where'd you get this thong? AutoZone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it got me thinking, like, how would you tell someone they have an issue? Because the way it was described is, is there not were, you, it's me. Right. We're gonna, <laughs> but I'm, there were gonna, no other. I want to start seeing other people. But, but there were no other hygiene issues that were mentioned. It was just this one area. But it's a key area. Yeah, it's a key area. Yeah, I, I imagine. Uh, it's am, a probably, is it, is it both help. areas in the region or just I, the front? My understanding was just the front. So it's probably a, a health, like a bodily That's, issue. That, that was my first thought. Dietary. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. It could be, but either way, how do you tell someone? <laughs> that she's been sitting on buckets of tuna right. all day. <laughs> Where do you work? The Chum Factory. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get at the grocery store? Fifteen pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> and I got myself some hamburgers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honey, did you invest in Lysol again? <laughs> again? Yeah. How good. much of their stock do you need? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I can tell you. Charcoal on the chair when she sits down. Maybe before she sits down, just throw a few sprinkles of charcoal on there. <laughs> Fuck that. I put a charcoal dildo up there. Charcoal. <laughs> Sit there and stay put for at least two to four hours. <laughs> Feel free to turn and pivot. <laughs> I can tell you you can speak with actions. That would be my answer. Simply stop doing the thing that she mm. enjoys. Because obviously she's not aware of it. And when she starts thinking, wait a minute, he won't put his face down there any, anymore. Well, maybe I got a problem down yonder. But that's going to prompt a conversation or at least a question. But you you must know. No. What if you don't? You, you, you know? you don't Why you would don't you smell know? your own stink. You're used to it. Yeah, I guess, especially yeah. south in the mouth. I mean, it, you, right. know, you smell your pits because they're right there, but I mean, you can't smell your puss. Yeah, I right. guess. I wouldn't know. I can't smell mine. But <laughs> <laughs> believe me, I can tell you right now, though, there have been moments where I get into bed and I'm like, I'll shower in the morning. And I'm like, no, I'll shower now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you readjust those shorts and you get a whiff and you're like, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than like picking up like a toy or a puzzle piece off the floor, and you're like, "Wow, I need to get on top of that." Yeah. <laughs> so I can only imagine she's got to be somewhat conscious of it, but maybe she just says, "Well, they make all the jokes about fish and all the other things. Maybe may that's what it's supposed to smell like." Maybe I don't know, man. That, but it just got me thinking. Now, picture me sitting at at, at a restaurant at dinner with my wife, my two and a half year old, sushi and- bar. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he said two and a half year old, and I can swear he said tuna. <laughs> I didn't, but I wish I had. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was my exciting thought for the week. I'm like, ooh, ooh, how would you approach yeah, this? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I would could, stop I doing the things she likes. If she's genuinely a quality person, I'm sure she is, and she's somebody you want to be with, 
then what you do is stop doing it so it prompts that conversation. Be like, well, you know, I, it's not something I always enjoy doing. And if you say that without saying the explicit request, there's a good chance if she's a decent human being, she'd be like, well, I better take care of that. Yeah. But it might also be physiological. She might not have any but control not, over well, it. Well, that's, that's true. What that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying in the beginning. It's probably physio- physiological. Could, like whether it's diet like or just the was, way her body works. Yeah, because a clean person, you know what I mean? Just one of those things. I mean, that's awful. I've, I kind of feel bad for her. I mean, I, not as much as I feel bad for the other people. Right. <laughs> but I feel bad for her if it's something she can't control. Yeah, that's all. If it's a hygiene issue... Mm-mm. Oh, if it's a hygiene issue, then no, fuck yeah. that. Exactly. She's out with her girlfriends. What's your favorite part of lovemaking? When he takes off the snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, his... he's got awful breath. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's his fault. He's just loading her area. Right with bad breath germs. I never thought about that. His breath smells like sardines. (laughs) (laughs) But but what if it was just him? Yeah. What if if it was him? Yeah. That's right. He's smelling his own breath for the first time. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. Did she have smelt? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's fucking fantastic. Oh my god, she smells like Starburst. He's just fucking burnt gasoline in his yeah. mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, problem solved. I like that. That's so much yeah, better. Yeah. That's so you much know, easier to think about. Yeah, we came out of that one. Yes. Scott free. Yes. Scott free. Oh my god. We've already body shamed twice on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was your week? That was it, man. That's all I got. That's pretty awesome. I yeah. had about the same level of eventfulness in my week. Um, I want to, uh, first off, thank Joe last w- for coming in last Joey week. Joey B. Yeah. Uh, not for actually being on the show, but for leaving all his booze behind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Craig's going to get me one right now. <laughs> Grab one of Joey's. It's a Bud Light one. It's over in the Walmart section of the cooler. Yeah. Yeah. See it over there? There it is. You got it. First try. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Joe, honestly, thank you for hanging out. Uh, very tough time for you, but we really appreciate you coming in. Hopefully, we let you blow off a little bit of steam. It was a an absolutely flawless episode. We can all vouch for it. Craig did very yeah. little editing. Yeah, very and that's little. not common for us. No. So um, you know what? Maybe we need more Joe on the show. So uh, well, <laughs> you know what, ladies and gentlemen, to be continued. Uh, on top of that, I'd like to thank alcohol. Yes. <laughs> Um, but the one thing, I, as much as I love alcohol, I also want to say I apologize to everybody because of alcohol. Because in the, my two consecutive weeks in review, I told the same story twice. <laughs> I, I managed to crack that shit so bad. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. And I, I mean, almost verbatim. I did it like identical with the same inflections and everything. Go yep. back, listen if you, if you missed it. You know what's funny, though? It might not even have been that. It might have been more of the fact that... Y- as much as things are opening up and moving along, it's still not fully, like, open. You know what I mean? So it could be more or less a um, time-blending-together thing. <laughs> it <laughs> you could know be what a I mean? byproduct like, of boredom. Could, but oh, yeah. I've never... I, I, I tried to be conscious of that. I've, I've told the same story twice many times, as Craig pointed We've out. All We've done all it. done it. But I have yeah. never in my life told it on two consecutive weeks in review and acted like this was news. <laughs> like, like, look at my life. Hey, guys, check this out. And I'm like, wow. Like, it's like we just played last week's episode. It was really bad, so I apologize to anybody who likes to criticize me because I just gave you more fodder. Uh, but that was it, man. I, You know what? Works good. I can't complain. That's it. That's man. all we can do, right? That's it. So let's get into it. We kind of touched on it a little bit, but open your mailbox, folks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Shit's happening in fifty states, including Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, apparently, if you didn't order jewelry, you might have still gotten a jewelry delivery. And right. And it's coming directly from bum, 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 China. Yeah. No, you're supposed to go China. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was China. Yeah, China. China. Watching him yesterday on his press conference, which he was late for. Yeah, he always is. But the China virus, he like he insists on it. You know they continue to write COVID-19 or coronavirus, and he continues to cross it out with a red marker and go, and China, China virus. virus. Yeah. And he says it with such emphasis. 
The rest of his press conference was actually very low key. Yeah. But he insists on China virus. He did not touch on the seeds. I assume that's next week's yeah, press conference. Yeah. But yeah, if you open your mailbox, in case you haven't heard, uh, people are getting random bags of seeds, all you know, like marked from China, and they're like, "Don't plant them. Put them in baggies and distribute them to the local authorities." What do you think's in there? Yeah, because people are like, "Oh, it's infected with the virus," and I'm like, "I doubt that because yep. because I doubt that because even if they put the virus in there, it's going to die before you got it." You know what I mean? <laughs> we all know the shipping from China takes weeks. Yeah, exactly. Even Amazon can't get it right. Yeah. So the thing is, is it's I'm thinking there's two things, and somebody made a good point. I, at first, I was thinking it's an invasive, an invasive species. Which type is plant. why the government's telling people not to plant, not it. to plant them, which would make sense, and that would be because um, as much as. You, Nobody wants to admit it. We're at, we're in war with China right now, but it's just a different type of war. See, the, the invasive species. It's a bunch of little Chinamen. You just can put water on them and yeah. they'll pop up and they'll, they'll grow and they'll start Mod taking over. Life. Right? It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a freeze-dried army. Yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> You're like sea monkeys. Right. <laughs> Give them water, and there's a fucking regiment of Chinamen in your backyard. I know Chinamen's not right, but it's funny. Yep. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I rolled my eyes for a second, and then it was overtaken with laughter. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But uh, I mean, like I said, you know, we're at a different type of war with China right now. Yeah, and things, you know, things like that would be great to 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 send over an invasive species that would fucking ruin things, maybe ruin certain crops. Yeah, you know. Um, what if it's an apology from China? But someone made a <laughs> good sending point. us roses. Man, it's the cure for COVID. Yeah, <laughs> right. they're just sending that. Everyone's throwing it away. <laughs> it's easy. You just fucking eat one, and that's it. Like every t- we, we gave you more than enough for your household. Yeah, we, gave, we have billions of them. We just say you, you freaking, just need yeah. one for every thousand people. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could but, uh, you imagine though? It's just an apology. Yeah. Like we, every Sorry, time we marked yes, it, cure for COVID, it got stopped at the fucking, post office. <laughs> Rose seeds, like beautiful flowers. They want everybody to plant a beautiful flower. It's a lotus. For, it's a lotus blossom. People are like fuck this yeah. plant. It's a giant plant that just makes lo mein. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which what I, I would be all about. Yeah, I love lo mein. All of a sudden, we get a bunch of bento boxes in their garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they unfold the plates when they bloom. Could, <laughs> But the funny thing is, like those, like that that shit's happening. But somebody made a point, and somebody said it could be a fucking company that did it for shipping purposes, yeah. for reaction to their ship, like to boost their shipping performance. You know what I mean? They're and looking could, for five star ratings on shipping efficiency. Uh, yeah. So the incident shows up in your mailbox. Well, it's delivered on it's time. Delivered. Yeah. Exactly. So they were saying it's a market that, test, and it could be it could be <laughs> fucking a C. It could be anything. It, but they could have mailed a piece of paper. Yeah, they it's didn't have to mail a bag of mysterious unmarked seeds. That's the, it's probably that's just a scam. Thing. Like they, you put a few it seeds is. in a little baggie. It has a little bit of weight. It feels like something you send it. I think it's some Walmart douchebag <laughs> from Missouri yep. sitting around. And yeah, by the way, we got downloaded in Missouri this week. Hey guys, yeah, how you, how you doing? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for, thanks for your support. Yep. <laughs> they logged off their AOL chat to get this downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, stop making phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off that dang fax machine. Yeah. I want to play Doom. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like, why a bag of seats, though? Why an unmarked bag of seats? If China wanted to thing. improve yeah, their yeah. reputation, I've gotten a lot of anything. unmarked things from China. Yeah. I have ordered screen protectors and phone cases and all sorts of weird tech shit that comes in unmarked. I bought a webcam that yeah. came in a white box that said webcam. Yep. Yeah, the, yeah. This one, these boxes just say jewelry. Right. You know, and it's like, who orders jewelry from China? You know what I mean? For one thing, there's everybody. Yeah. No, but the, no, fucking America makes fucking tons of fucking. But that's what jewelry. I'm saying. It's it's a you know I mean? People are finding jewelry cheap online. They're ordering yeah. stuff and they're just throwing seeds in, so it feels like there's something in there. That's a, 
I mean, I went looking for that webcam, and I saw brands like Microsoft and Logitech, and then I said, wait a minute, that's not in my price range. Let's go to Dionysus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a Greek god's name, and I'm like, where's it shipping from? Let me roll the dice here. Mm-hmm. Bing, Beijing. Yeah. And it shipped from there, and it got here in record time, and yep. I got to tell you, things great. Things great. It's also recording me and sending all transmissions back to the Red yeah, Nation. Exactly. But that's besides the point. Shit works good. Your for seeds my... will arrive in three days. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be great if my webcam was the, the stimulus for all this. You're right. Yeah. He accepted the webcam. Start phase two. So. <laughs> they just looked like sunflower seeds to me. The, yeah, they. It looks weird. I mean, I wouldn't plant them either. No, I just would, because I'd, I'd be like, them. "What the fuck is this?" I'd throw I had them to away. have a conversation with my children. If you see a bag of seeds in the mailbox, tell daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We just took them to plant their own seeds in the yard. We got like new potting plants and everything. Yeah. Ethan's going to be like, "Yay, more Sweet. seeds!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then exactly. next thing you know, we have another pandemic. Yeah, I don't think this is a, a weaponized seed delivery. I I would no, love it no. if it was an apology, like they were just sending us flowers and saying sorry. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's their version of an olive branch in China. Yeah, the seeds. It's, Our yeah. goal is to have a hundred and forty tree branch. Yeah. Seed. yeah. <laughs> well, that would make sense with the Dionysus webcam. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, could you imagine? They're like, I just wanted to send one hundred and forty thousand white flowers for all the people that died from our disease. Yep, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I uh, doubt it. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate it started there. You know, when was the last time we yelled at the it bat? Started, we you know, haven't yelled at the bat in a while. Yeah, it was it's, his fault. It right? started right. there because there's three billion fucking people there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's where. Of course, it's going to start in a place like that. That in India would be, I would think would be the first two places that something horrible like that would happen. Right. Because just the, the population. You know what I mean? So, it's you know, I'm not defending China because they do some pretty shitty stuff. Oh, they do a lot of shitty you stuff. You know what I mean? Well, they they're, are a they're, communist they're, nation. They're a communist nation <laughs> yeah. that treat their people like shit, and they're fucking horrible. But oh, so yeah. do but know? so do we by default. Yeah. The more we order from them, the more we treat their people like yeah, shit because exactly. there's more demand That's for like this product. Nike made that commercial, and everybody's all about. Oh, did you see that fucking commercial Nike Nike made? I'm like, no, I was fucking busy fucking. Tying my fucking sneaker that that little fucking eight year old kid made. Yeah. You know? I think Colin Kaepernick was made in China. Yeah, because he he sort of resembles a quarterback, but not quite. Not quite. Yeah, yeah. Generic quarterback. Yeah, he's yeah. like I ordered a quarterback he, in a he bag. Be broken one season. Yeah. <laughs> but look at the money we saved. Yeah. Like, I want a tall Puerto Rican. With big Aryan arms and an afro. Yeah. yeah. And Taipei's like, we're on it. We're right. On it. <laughs> It'll be there in three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and broken insects. Yeah. I just thought of something. That girl we were just talking about a few minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Can we call her Tongue Pao? <laughs> <laughs> Tongue Pao licking. <laughs> Tongue Pao. Uh. I think I just named the episode. <laughs> <laughs> cooch poo <laughs> poo poo cooch poo <laughs> poo poo pew <laughs> or just star kissed just you, uh, <laughs> you don't know what a bumblebee that's generic shit. that's you know, yeah that oh star kissed a guy motherfucker Oh, oh shit! All right, so, yeah. All right. So but, China's giving us stuff yeah. that we don't want. Yeah. We don't want, right. <laughs> right? You know, some motherfucker planted those things, right? You it, know it. it. It was like three kids. Like, hey, watch this. Let's yep. see who can do more. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking know it. And it, the people in Alabama crushed them on the back of a toilet and snorted them. <laughs> 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 Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> There's some Chinese seeds. You can eat them sideways. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm full of racist jokes tonight. That's not right. No, it's, that's awful. <laughs> Let's get back to something a little more wholesome. Yeah. Like Christmas. Yes. We were talking about gifts coming from China. 
Uh, we're not really anticipating a whole lot of China gift giving until Christmas when we all order shit from China yeah. and <laughs> give it to our families. Uh, but believe it or not, there was a recent study because, you know, science is not that busy these days. <laughs> they decided to study the effects of Christmas music on mental health and they determined it was bad for you. Let's Which discuss. I call bullshit on that. I mean... Christmas music bad for you right now. Right now, yeah. Now, Listen, uh, Christmas in July bullshit. No, yeah, thank you. No. Well, that was the study. It was like whether or not there's too much. Not whether it's or not, not the like music Christmas. itself is it too much too soon? Because I mean, we're only two months away from hearing it. That's true. That's the worst part. Is like I think I don't mind hearing. I think like after Thanksgiving, I'm you know okay I mean? with. Yeah. I'm okay with it. That's when I'm. That's when I'll start. Actually, start after Thanksgiving. I'll start listening to it. Yeah, I'm like, all right, you know? let's let's get ready for the next three weeks, four yeah. weeks. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with this, and I first. like it. Cause yeah, because it, it makes me, um, it makes me happy. I like it. And my thing, I always said, if you if you hear a Christmas song and you get angry and fucking sad and depressed, you're doing Christmas wrong. You know what I mean? I get there's people out there that that feel bad because they can't give their kids so much, or you know they're they're on hard times or something. But that's not what it's about. You know what I mean? And I, I get it, but it's just enjoy it. I actually enjoy, think this you know? Christmas could be good because it's going to be the one Christmas. Did you have a job? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you're still paying penance for two weeks ago. <laughs> These kids are going to be excited that they'll unopen. Some, like cardboard boxes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's another box. This one fits inside the other one I got. Yeah. Here's a bag of seeds. I, I mean, <laughs> on, t- on top of it, you stole my joke, you prick. No, no I'm sorry. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Did he really? Well, you know what? I'm in a way I'm glad because if it was that obvious, let him have it. Yep. But anyway, fuck it. <laughs> I was just thinking that this would be the one Christmas where everybody's kind of on a level playing field because everybody had a rough yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I actually thought that that Christmas music might actually be a, a, an uplifting thing. And then I thought about it a little further, and I realized COVID's going to fuck up Christmas. Of yeah. course it is. Nobody's it is. sitting on Santa's lap this year. There's nope. going to be no crowded malls. No, there's going to be. I mean, Halloween is fucked. Oh, Halloween's going to be awful this year. This and and it's funny and I thought you know what's go, what's going to happen is and I, we said this before but this is like brick and mortar is going to go down yeah because it's it's, it's going to be after this fall winter where every, a lot of things are going to die yeah because people mm-hmm. are going to be like I'm not going to go to the mall I'm not going to go to and even that like Walmart you can they'll bring it to the curb for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot and, of places will yeah, know. And a lot of places will, but these small stores don't have the online presence to take that you know, to take that away. And the thing is when you go on Amazon or Walmart.com and you go to buy stuff, you always find everything it's the Dionysus fucking yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but watch now, these big companies are gonna start migrating there in swarms because they they're not their product isn't going to get pushed at a at a brick and mortar store because nobody's going to be there. So I know they that need when I went their sales, they're going to have to. When put I it. went into Best Buy asking for a Dionysus, they had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but and I and I think what's happening, it's just going to turn fucking Walmart and Amazon into gigantic <laughs> monsters. Yes. Well, and, and they already are. <clears throat> but I mean, it's just going to go. Will you the stop? Let, let's make this personal. Will you stop going to smaller stores, local stores? No, I've, I've actually mean, been more active in brick and mortar, trying to help out too. the local guys. Me too. Mostly I, restaurants, but still. Like when we needed, when we were going to go do the live episode for the show, we needed a cable for the show. I could have ordered that on Amazon yeah. and got it the next day, and I didn't. I went to Ray Mullins. You know what I mean? I I I do stuff like that because. It's right down the road. It's, you know, it's not far away, and you're helping someone out. You're helping out a local business. And if you want them there when this is all over, then buy from them now. Yeah, even if you, add, I'm pretty sure yeah. even the local mom and pop. If you say, "Hey, I don't want to go in your store," will you put then, it on the curb? Yep. Okay. They'll do it, and they'll do it because they want. They need to stay alive. Yeah. The amount of places I have seen closing. You know, I saw something today. There was up by Boston. There was a uh, an arcade. 
It, that place is over 100 years old. Yeah, it's an old school arcade. I believe it's on a boardwalk or something over there. And they had to close down because the state determined that it wasn't a safe environment. Meanwhile, casinos are wide open. Right. Yeah. And it's the same environment. It's the same environment. And or they, worse. And, and they, they went above and beyond this place. They spent fucking tons of money to revamp the place for this. To say, hey, we can do this. We can do that. We, yeah. You know what I mean? And they got, it's in uh, Salisbury Beach, Mass. And it's they're gonna they're gonna close. No, they're done. It's over. That's yeah. awful. And, and you hate to hear that. And you know, getting back to plain retail, if you can get a sweatshirt locally, and you need a hoodie or something, go buy one that says the, your town name on it, and suck it up that you don't have the fashionable one from right. the chain. Chains are gonna be fine. Yeah, Ch- Chili's Chain, will be yeah. open when this is all over. Yeah. yeah, Best Buy will be open when this is all over. You're not going to see a lot from Macy's from this point on. Yeah. You're not going to see a lot from your local clothing store. And, uh, I mean, I I don't want to get all preachy about it, but what we thought was going to be over by now is now just spiking up again. Yep. We're looking at entering the holidays with this fucking disease. (sighs) And I'm really pissed off because I'm not going to enjoy Christmas because I've been stuck in this house for God yeah. knows how long. And that's the thing is like, and then how, I have a feeling that by the time December rolls around, we're going to be back into some sort of lockdown. It's going to be yeah. worse. Yeah, and, yeah, it's going to be worse. And what? So what? Am I not supposed to go hang out with my family? Am I not gonna, supposed to? No, normally you, I drive you around can. throughout the day. But what's? I think no. what's going to happen is you're going to see all the places that you can go to now because you can sit outside or you can. Yeah, a lot no, of these places are going to be shut don't. back down again. Mm-hmm. But back back to what we were talking about the Christmas music. I like oh, Christmas yeah. music. I don't like it right now. No, I don't want to hear it right now. I work with someone that did this Christmas in July at their house, and they had this big like pool party with their kids and their friends and stuff. I'm like, no, no, I don't want, like, no. No, yeah. No, July is not for Christmas. No. So what about Hallmark deciding to air the movies to make people happy during a very bad quarantine? It's a distraction. They're doing their best to distract people from but bullshit. But can you be in yeah. the vibe of a Christmas no. movie when your balls are stuck That's to your inner thigh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't even focus on my balls when all I feel are my balls down my entire leg. Yeah. Like, That's, it's just, it's ridiculous. I could never, like, I don't understand, like... That's one thing too with Christmas. I could I don't understand like Christmas in like Florida and tropical countries and like no. how does it work? It's not this, yeah, it's, it's not I would nothing never, changes. I could, I could it's all what that, you yeah. know. I mean my brother no, I know. my brother moved down there and he couldn't be happier. He sits in this pool. <laughs> yeah. He's literally going, Yeah, ho ho ho. Yeah. You know, I, I some people just don't give a shit about yeah. that to me. No, I, I yeah. moved to New England for four seasons. Yeah. I didn't even get that yeah. in New York, to be honest with you. Yeah, you start we, losing we your four seasons. Yeah. yeah. Once once you get like Virginia and South, you start losing your four seasons. I, honestly, I'd give it to New York City too because that subway heat radiates. It's insane. Yeah, you, you don't have a spring. You have um, a couple days at the end of winter, and you, you everybody goes to Central Park. You can then it gets feel hot. it blowing out of the fucking tunnel really? as you walk through the stairs. You just it's like someone's got a blow dryer in your fucking face. Yeah, when you walk down into the subway entrance. Yeah, <laughs> really, it's insane. Time. It's, it's disgusting. Disgusting. Imagine that fills the streets. Hot. That makes it's sense. Fucking disgusting. You know what? <laughs> I, I make no bones about it. New York can be really gross, and they showed us just how gross they are. Well, I bet it's it's like going into like the fucking bathroom at a football stadium and the air's all like thick and humid and it's yeah. like that's not moisture I, that's yeah. pee in the air look I, at, I, it's like going to a beach restroom look at yeah you. yeah look at everything's evaporating that's inside that room not 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 to get off not to get off topic but look at new Wait, york we had right a topic now. i didn't know right <laughs> look at new york right now <laughs> look at you keeping us I had, on track no. well what i thought because trying to it, push it, through it, i'm it, not gonna it, let you i'm gonna keep interrupting you because i want to see how long you'll do this it ties look in at him he won't even like take a break he's taking breaths and keeping the same pause in a sentence i'm gonna do look it he's <laughs> doing it under the guise of being the rudder right yeah. right no but it because it ties in because i actually considered He's shaking as he's. We a haven't runner. gone anywhere. How's your sister? Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember that time you were at her wedding? Yeah, and you were dancing, not surrounded by people that you said you were surrounded by. Yep. But go ahead, continue. We went, but me and my wife like going to New York. We haven't been anywhere this year, and I thought in my head, I was like, you know, because matter of fact, her birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, babe! You know, <laughs> but it's gonna be belated. Um, but go ahead. Uh, yeah. And it will tomorrow when I wake up, and I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, just yeah. say it when you get home tonight, <laughs> yeah. and you won't remember. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I thought about it. I said, you know what would be cool? We've never gone to New York in the winter 
and I thought, let's go spend the day. We'll do one night. I was thinking, in New York City for Christmas. I don't want to go there right now. No. People are getting fucking shot in the streets. New York went from being crazy New York, like you watch the movies in the fucking, like, Beat Street and shit, and people fucking stabbing each other on the fucking subway. Did you say Beat Street? Yeah. <laughs> no one? And, and fucking Wait, actually, hold the up Warriors. A I'm going to yeah. do something right now. Yeah. I'm going to throw back to when, before Dave was on the show. Yeah. I want you to put in the audio of Mike rapping Beat Street with Charlie. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. So, five, four, three, two. Beat Street, the king of the beat. I see you rocking that beat from across the street. Uh huh. Beat Street is a lesson, too, because I can't let the street beat you. Huh. And there it is. Yeah. And, and there it is, a ghost of the past. Does it make but, it any more relevant? No, it just makes it, it funny. It, yeah. <laughs> but it's not, you know, it's not the New York like we think, like, oh, there's gangs of fucking teenagers roving the streets with switchblades. Right. It's They're, also you know, not Elf. Yeah. You know, where you're skipping around town but, with your girlfriend but, and everything's great. But it was like that. And that, that was no, the worst it part. Is it got no, to it a point. So, well, granted, right when I got off, the first thing, there was a guy laying in a fucking, right when we got off the fucking bus the first time we went, there was a guy laying in a shopping cart full of, like, clothes and trash, laying on top of the shopping cart, smoking crack. It was three in the afternoon. Perfect. You were right there at the corner of the road, right? But uh, <laughs> that's Marty, but, and he bothers no one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he wasn't bothering anybody. He was just smoking crack. <laughs> he did. He didn't make it your problem. Yeah, no, he did it. He's keeping not track of how many people take the bus. He was actually Leave quite, alone. He was actually quite friendly, waving to people and shit as they went by. <laughs> he was a good I, from guy. what I gather, crack will do that. Too. Yeah, but, seems uh, like a fun drug. But like right now. Like, cause you think when you're walking in areas like like Times Square and stuff like that during the day, it, it was fucking great. Me and my wife at the Central Park sat down. It was fucking awesome. I don't want to go there right now. It's scary. Yeah. Again. All of a sudden, it's turned into fucking craziness again. You mean gangs of people walking through the streets, <laughs> streets with switchblades? Yeah. 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 And it's it's become scary again. And I'm like, nope, not doing that. I think you should go down, get off the bus, stand in the middle of Times Square, scream, come out and play, and yeah. then catch the next bus <laughs> Yeah, office. and then just take off to Coney Island. Yeah. <laughs> If you go down to Coney Island and come back, that would be the most impressive thing. Dude, just, <laughs> just bring a shopping cart with a bunch of bottles. Have Fran push you around. No one will bother you. Yeah, right? Craig exactly. doesn't realize how many stops he has to make before he gets to Coney Island. <laughs> it's not four stops from Times Square, pal. No, I know. You got the guys with the baseball bats dressed up in the fucking Yankees uniforms. <laughs> yes. You got the roller skate yes, guys. Yes, that actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to go down just to prove me wrong. I'm begging you. I want you to go down and just ride down to Coney Island and then call me when you get there. Yeah. No, no. Have call us before you leave and keep us on while you go. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Like Because they got Wi-Fi in the subway now. So you yeah. can keep the phone on the whole time. I want you to get out, have a Nathan's hot dog, and then run in fear yeah. <laughs> about what you just saw. <laughs> I'd rather see him seductively eat a Nathan's hot dog while sitting comfortably down there yeah. and see what happens. I got to tell you, he eats two Nathans, you'll see a cyclone in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I mean, like, but like that was going to the Christmas. Like, I thought, like, you know, Christmas in New York is fucking something I always wanted to do, but I'm not. I'm, I'm all set. 2021, it's going to be awesome. You, yep. not this. Year. Let's go not for White year. Christmas. Christmas in Vermont. Yep. <laughs> There's no one there. Breweries. That's it. Yep. <laughs> That's what they say. There's COVID. Is that like an IPA? Yeah. 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 <laughs> they have no idea what the fuck's going on up there. They just nope. live in their same little cheese world. Maine is the same way right now. They're like, what? School's open. Like, fully open. Nothing. Yeah, no. They're like, no, we're good. All their cases are in, like, one town. Yeah. And the rest of the state is nothing. Yeah. And they're like, like and they just surrounded that town with people with guns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it was in Maine, that story. The people, they wouldn't let them off they, their they, little they, island, right? Those, those people, th there was one guy that tested positive, and they fucking surrounded his house. The townsfolk <laughs> wouldn't let him out. It wouldn't let him leave. W where were the torches? Yeah. Oh, no, they pretty much had those going. <laughs> the, only at night. They didn't only want to waste night. the wood. Yeah, they weren't wasting the wood. <laughs> but they were like, no, you're not leaving. Like, you're quarantined. You're not fucking showing up. What were they doing? Like, market. chanting from the Bible prologue by Stephen King? No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. They didn't do it. They didn't like torment the people or anything. But they were just like, "You're not leaving. You're not coming out into the town. You're staying there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll throw your food across we'll throw your driveway. Your, yeah. It was fucking insane. I love me. <clears throat> yeah, 
<laughs> it's funny. My wife looked at me today. She's like, let's move to Maine. And I, 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 normally, I'd be like, no, we can't. At this time, I was like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You could, if you sold your house, you could buy nine. Yeah. You, <laughs> if I sold my house and made no money, I could still buy nine houses up yeah. there. Yeah. It's like you have a credit rating. Right. Yeah. You're Ex- good. Ex- yeah. And 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, or as they call it, the down payment. Right. Yeah. We'll just, <laughs> I'll just have Ray bake three trays of cookies and we'll go trade for a house. Yeah. Have him build it for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the real estate guy is also the butcher. Yeah. Yeah. And he's much. probably the best butcher in the state. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You like elk? You do now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Christmas, the whole Christmas thing, I like I said, I call it bullshit on the fact that... The, no, I don't call it bullshit, because I could see it getting people depressed, I guess, but... Well, they were focusing on wrong. certain songs, and some of the songs that they were talking about was all of the happiest ones, because it made unhappy people seem even more unhappy. It puts into focus uh, all the okay. things that are shitty in their life. Like, Holly Jolly Christmas it might be the most upbeat song ever made. Yes. Yep. And so if you're having... It was sung by a fucking snowman. Yeah. A snowman. Yep. Exactly. With a big, giant mustache. Right. The guy looked happy. The song was happy. Or also rocking around the Christmas Mm -hmm. tree. That's my favorite of all time. That that song's all about people having friends and people to gather around. Yeah. What if you don't have any? Yeah. All right. So is Christmas music maybe a trigger for people to... I don't know, off themselves and I take, do unspeakable right. things or Nothing. join the cast of Glee or something. Actually, <laughs> I don't know. I actually take my comment back about it being bullshit. I didn't think, I didn't put it in a All perspective right, well, like well, that. If, if we're going to do that, we could take, we could pick a random band singer, whoever, and I'm sure there's a song on an album that would do the same thing to well, anybody. Well, yeah, that's true too. Yeah. Every, like exactly. people, like people sing about shit that they've dealt with. Everyone's yeah. dealt with feeling like they're alone or the yeah. life sucks at a moment. I have never once owned a pair of Christmas shoes. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Why is it so sad? <laughs> I have Chucks. Yeah, I have Pumas. Exactly. I hate that song so fucking much. <laughs> Isn't I that one about death? Yeah, it's about the kid's fucking mother's got cancer and he went and buy, bought her shoes or some shit. I'm gonna. I guess he was hoping they were ruby slippers and fucking maybe click her heels like you know. Go back. No no place like fucking not having cancer. I'm gonna have. (laughs) We should write a song as a team. Have a holly glioblastoma Christmas. There's no place like chemo. Yeah. (laughs) Shrinking the tumor around the Christmas tree. Have a holly hairless Christmas. He bought his sneakers. His mother was diabetic. He just, he just laid on the floor doing nothing. <laughs> she never got to use them. I gave her two Christmas cookies dead on the spot. <laughs> I thought it was saying it was just my mom feeding her inner desire. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. I call this one lack of willpower at the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus the holly oh, and the shit. finger prick. Uh, you know what? I wish that was the only food headline we had this week. But that yeah. wasn't a food headline. That was about music. No, it was but about we mu- talked about Christmas cookies at the end, and so yeah. that counts. Oh, that's fair. That All right, counts. that's fair. Yeah, yeah, okay. That counts. But you know, how do we not talk about Kentucky Fried Chicken? Because <laughs> we were talking about Walmart, we were talking about Americana. Yeah. Now we're talking about Kentucky Fried Chicken, and apparently over in England, Kentucky Fried Chicken is using animal flesh shells to 3D print chicken meat. Yeah. At a Russian lab, so it's the British doing this with Russia. Yeah, printing fucking meat. Now, I, don't get me wrong, <laughs> McDonald's has been doing it for fucking a hundred years. <laughs> If you've ever eaten a chicken nugget or chicken finger, guess what? Yeah. Not meat. Not meat. It's not a it's chicken. not fucking I meat. have never once eaten an actual chicken breast that could be described as spongy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you throw a McNugget in water, wait for the magic. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Four you, times its size like a bathtub toy yeah. you got out of a fucking vending machine. If you go to the grocery store and you buy, if you buy chicken breast and look like my calf, that's not a chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's yep. ridiculous. Like, no, you shouldn't be able to buy two chicken breasts that weigh two pounds. Yeah. 
That's insane. That's insane. An entire chicken weighs three. Yeah. Bones, then, beak, feathers, the, and all. The worst part was Kentucky Fried Chicken just... No, no. It's just KFC now. K, KFC made an announcement like a week ago. They recognized the fact that, that some of their suppliers, are the animals are not kept in good conditions. The animals do suffer. Like... Suffer because they just injected them with shit. Now you got a fucking forty pound chicken, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> they're like good eating, yeah. Right. And so, like, it's, so it, it's a, it's a British KFC using a Russian lab. It's their yeah. British three D print. Yeah, yeah. It's not one like location that just decided to get frisky. Like it's actually their headquarters over there because apparently Kentucky Fried Chicken's huge. So, in Europe. It, so none of yeah. the executives in England were like, "This is poppycock." We need to put a stop to this. this it took some redneck in, in fucking middle America to say, hold on, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. You're 3D printing some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no 3D chicken. Just put it between two buns. Yeah, exactly. Right? See, everybody starts showing up with those fucking red and blue glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Jaws? Yeah. I feel like I'm inside the chicken. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's look, like I can taste it. Look at the way the muscle fiber does nothing like the anatomy told us. <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking. I fucking. One thing I despise is chicken nuggets. Never liked them ever. I really? Just, I just ate yeah. one when I went to yell at my kid. I love chicken um, nuggets. I like the chicken tenders, like when you it was actual chicken that was well, like well, injected that- with a thousand hormones and fucking water. <laughs> Those I like, you know. But I was never like that explains the, the random spots of hair showing through your bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> These random outcroppings. Yeah. <laughs> the taint of his shorts is full of down. <laughs> Everything that showed through his bathing suit looked like the top of Sloth's head. <laughs> <laughs> But that's just fucking. Do you think they're 3D printing them to look exactly like nuggets, or do you think they're 3D printing them to look like chickens? I think they're making sheets of it and yeah, then just cutting yeah. it. They're probably well, making like well, one inch thick, just like yeah. slabs of well, chicken. Which is what McNuggets are. They're injection molded. That's they're inje- it. Yeah, they're injected. I was just going to say, if you open up a fucking thing of chicken nuggets and look at them, they're the same two shapes. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're exactly. round or they look like a stocking. Or if you come yeah. to my house, dinosaurs. Right. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing. Like, no one. There's no one in a factory cutting chicken to look like a T-Rex. Yeah, no. No, exactly. they're pouring this slime into a mold. Into I a wish mold. you would stop ruining my Fridays. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I look for Dino Nuggets taste better. It's, it's delicious. It's just like SpongeBob Kraft Macaroni and Cheese tastes way better than all the rest of it. Don't give me those fucking lame tubes. SpongeBob holds Spon- the cheese better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many nooks and crannies. It's like a Thomas's English muffin of he mac and cheese. soaked it up like a sponge. Oh, my God. Oh, that was awful. You know what? I yeah. would tell you to take that out, except I want you to be embarrassed. I'm going to leave it You're in. You're going to leave yeah. that in. It's bad when two dads are like, ooh. ooh that was bad <laughs> one. My wife's going to love it, but yeah. that was bad. Stop trying to keep up with us. You yeah. can't out-dad us. <laughs> but I love to watch you try. But uh, that's it's just disgusting. And where does it end? Like, I mean... Our chicken it's, it's has been jacked on the Soiling green is people. people. Like, <laughs> but that's We're just not it. that far. But that's yeah. just it. All of the chicken you've eaten, even when you buy Purdue chicken breast, that shit is it's, so jacked up with steroids. Oh. Right. We haven't eaten a pure piece of chicken in 40 years. Let me tell you Unless something. you've killed the chicken yourself, like you raised it and killed it. Like no. You know what I mean? Now, Mike, for new listeners, Mike was on the show in the beginning. His father has had a farm for you a long time. You just heard him time. a few minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Now... His father had a farm, and he raised cows. And he used to, you know, he would take them to the slaughterhouse, and he raised cows, and it was all grain f- fed, like just f- you know, he wasn't in. We should mention that Dave took off every time we mention Mike. Dave leaves. Yep, <laughs> it's really embarrassing for Dave, and I wish he'd fucking stop. <laughs> it's been a year and a half. It makes him urinate. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 your lack of self confidence is is really crippling the show. But Mike used to make, uh, I mean, Mike's father used to raise cows, and it was all like grain fed, you know, just in a field. He didn't. He was actual chicken. Yeah, it was. It was actual chi- actual cows. He wasn't injecting them with steroids because he wasn't selling them to anything big. 
he was actually selling them to either other farmers, right, or he was selling them to like local people, like that would because you get a lot of people around here, especially like in the Portuguese community, would buy a side of beef. You know what I mean? Buy a whole side of a cow and chop it up and freeze it. And it was great because he gave, he comes to my house one day with a bunch of steaks. And my mother-in-law is looking at it. And she's like, my mother-in-law is looking at the steak. And she's like, that doesn't look right. That's not, is is that doesn't look right. Is it spoiled? I'm like, no, why? Because it's not fucking ruby red. Yeah. I'm like, that's not what it looks like. You know, and I'm like, what color is an actual? It's, it, I mean, it's red, but it's 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 not it's, bright it's red. It's not bright red. It's like pale, like a so. That's pale all red, injected like a, in there. Yeah. What about chicken? Like, what about a chicken breast? What would it know? The like gray. It's still no. It's still white. It's a little grayish on the gray side, fresh, and then. But it's not that pink, bright hue. Yeah. No. That's all the roids. No, that, huh? Yeah. And then, I mean, I love them, so I'm not going to stop eating them. No. And I and love I what too. they've done to my balls. But, let me <laughs> tell you something. The steak, gargantuan. The steak from a actual real fucking cow is fucking fantastic. Yeah, it's not. It, it's it's totally. It's so much more tender. It's so different. It's so different that my mother in law was freaking out eating it. She's like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" So Mike ended up giving her a whole bunch of steaks. He went went to his father's house. He got more, and he gave her a bunch to throw in the freezer. And she always asks all the time, is, is dad have, is, is dad has had cows in a while? Yeah. No. But he's like, um, she's like, is his dad got cows again? Because she wants more of those steaks. <laughs> and it's even like Omaha steaks, like, the, you know, you can order them. It's the same thing. Yeah, they're yeah. good. They're good. They're, they're better than what they're you get at the grocery good. store. They're, they're still injecting those fucking things with roids and shit to an extent. They're not yeah. overdoing it. You know so what like, I mean? They're grass fed. The grass is infused with steroids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, like fucking like True Grow was there the day before. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and that's the thing. But but Miracle to, Grow. God damn, I couldn't get the name right. <laughs> but to but to comply with demand, you have to do something. Something has to be done. Right. Either that, or everybody would have to have a cow. Right. You if know what if I mean? you can, if you can make a a single chicken produce three quarters more of a pound of meat. Why would you do that as opposed to having to every two chickens get another one? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they, of exactly. course, people. Of course, are going to do that. I say go vegan. That's the only way I'll sleep with you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never wanted more meat in my life. But they, you know what's funny is I'll get <laughs> sound bite. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> Keep with what Joey said last week. <laughs> Give me all the meat. But the thing is, I'll guarantee you that fucking at least 70% of the current health issues are due to all our processed foods and what's eaten. I'll guarantee that. <laughs> I would. L- I wish we could just like throw up a screenshot of your cabinet right now in your kitchen. Oh, no. I, no, don't get I me wrong. I past two boxes of Twinkies. I went to the bathroom <laughs> I, in your I, house a week ago. I walked past not one. Two boxes of Twinkies. I, put, I know that that one's still on the counter. He's like, that's because I, I ate well, the third one before that, you got yeah, there. No, that, that second box is in the in the fridge. I put them in the fridge now. Does Twinkie the kid just scream at you from the box <laughs> like, "Whoa, partner!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but slow your roll. Don't get me wrong. I love that shit. But I'm saying, I guarantee you that seventy percent of the health problems and and cancers and stuff is due to d- the meat. All the fake shit. Just, Everything is fake. Just There's fucking real. With, yeah. I There's think that's what's real. happening to Craig right now. He's actually the least healthy guy here. And all his cancer is eating the other cancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You've got competing S- cancers. Somehow your melanoma has sarcoma. Somehow. <laughs> yeah. You're going to wake up one day and all of your bones are gone. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. House will be here. It's sarcoidosis. <laughs> <laughs> It was every episode. Every every episode. Sarcoidosis. <laughs> I've been binging that show, and it was funny because in season four, they, they goes to four, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's finally right. You finally got lupus right. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's been guessing it forever. Yeah. And I think that was a nod to everybody on the show. They had this, it's Munchausen or sarcoidosis in every episode. Yeah. It's never been sarcoidosis. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's the go-to. 
That's it. No, but I think you have just ash cancer. Probably. At some point. I know what you did in my house. And yeah. <laughs> that smelled like chemo. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sound of your house dying, not yeah. his ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the whole neighborhood's property value when I shut dropped. The, when I shut the light off and it was still bright in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's fireworks going off across the bay. Right of course now. there is. <laughs> Happy August. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Shit. Fucking right. August. It's August. I'll be honest. Yep. I've never wanted fall to show up any sooner than yeah. I have this we summer. We say this Me every too. year. We said this last year from this very table. We all hate the heat. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. But it's it's been... Nonstop. We've gotten half an inch of rain in a month and a half. Yeah, and it's been hot and fucking hu- not just hot, like upper nineties and high humidity. Today so I'm was like, supposed I'm to all break. Set. It didn't. No, no. <clears throat> it, no, it broke, but it was still eighty eight degrees outside. And you know what tom- I mean? And then tomorrow is ninety again. Is is ninety? It, but and then it like gives you the feel like temperature of one hundred and four. Yeah. <laughs> what what sucks is what you start of the humidity. We're, we're getting to that point in the air where you're starting to see. The sun's setting a little lower in the sky, so like the shadows get a little longer, and it's like, ooh, ooh, good. Well, you can see it coming, yeah. but then you go outside and you're like, nope, my balls just hit the patio. Yeah, it's not quite yeah. here yet. Exactly. Yeah. For it's all new weird. listeners, we have horrendous balls. Yeah. <laughs> we have talked about them ad nauseum on this episode. <laughs> Sorry. We have low hanging sticky balls. I don't know. Do the labia drop when it's hot? I don't know. They definitely do. They must. They definitely <laughs> do, they and must. they and they smell like Starkist. We covered this. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to help her out, though. If it really is that dude's bad breath, I really want to start like a GoFundMe for her. I'm sorry. It's not my pussy. Donate money. Yeah. I would support that charity. Just, seriously, it ain't me. I'm just picturing. I'm sorry. I'm picturing the outside like patio of like a couple that's in a hot, humid summer, and there's just a bunch of like pairs of circles on the pavement, and then a pair like a bunch of pairs of like lines. Yeah. <laughs> Like from where it was all hot and sweaty. <laughs> you have a lot oh. of snails around here. Like, yeah. ooh, ooh, this is no passing zone. There's double lines. <laughs> <laughs> the whole bunch of ants on it. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel terrible if it turns out that that girl is just the victim. This guy ate like four bags of like fucking flavored almonds every day. <laughs> he's, just, he's eating a bunch of Funyuns to get himself yeah, in the mood. Exactly. <laughs> what do you put on everything? Mayonnaise? No, wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> but her cooch suffers. <laughs> I want justice and I want to find now. out he's been taking fish oil pills every morning for his fucking <laughs> for his anemia but he didn't know what to do he's just breaking yeah. them and rubbing them on his yeah. gums <laughs> it's like yeah I take these pills <laughs> just, just smashing them on his teeth let me romance you yeah. <laughs> bring her in uh, and because Brad hasn't done it in about eight episodes there you go. It's a move I like to call trolling. <laughs> uh, so we've talked a lot about vaginas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yes, we have. Stinky Effortless ones. transition, Craig. Stinky yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> Saggy ones. <laughs> and sweet ones. We made a magic. Yeah, we did. Nautical ones. Nautical, yeah. <laughs> have missed that display at Pier 1 when they had it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on display at J.U. <laughs> <laughs> not J.P.U. Uh, <laughs> Let's move geez. on to L.L. Peen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, we got a story about a penis. You mold yeah. Navy. <laughs> Actually, two <Mold> penis. Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. All right, Craig, uh, you were talking about penis? Yeah, I was talking about penis. <laughs> at JC Peeny. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, there was a um, a man in, in the UK who apparently suffered from a horrendous blood infection. And his he started getting, like, his extremities started, like, discoloring and turning black. 
And and that means all extremities. And, and that means all of it because <laughs> That's he what people, woke up people one usually morning, pay for this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna quote him. He said When I saw my penis go black <laughs> I was beside myself. I was like oh, it, it was like a horror film. <laughs> I saw my penis go black. I, was, like, I never knew I was gay. I was in a complete panic. And then I was like, if I ever saw my penis go black, I'd be like, yes. <laughs> I'd call my wife. It's happening. It's, I, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you'll he, never go back. He had uh, a massive infection. And sure enough, they had to lop his penis off. No, no. It fell off. It, oh, yes. It yeah. just fell off. It was like an umbilical cord on day two yeah, of yeah. the child's he, life. Yeah. He said, I knew it was coming, so when it fell off, I just threw it in the trash. Uh, oh. Yeah, it just fell off one day. Oh, I would have framed where, it. Where, where did this happen? <laughs> England. <laughs> Meat beef. Yep. <laughs> Meat beef, yeah. There you go. It's, it's a bunch of cod swallop. It didn't happen. <laughs> Poppycock, exactly. Poppy. <laughs> it's right there. What uh? So uh, some some doctors decided that they could regrow. These were not doctors. These were scientists. Scientists. <laughs> These were mad <laughs> fucking mad. Scientists. A bunch of Russian scientists with a 3D printer that were tired of chicken decided, yeah. hey, <laughs> I know what I can do. <laughs> I, I'm ready for a new kind of meat. We so, want to put in elsewhere. Uh, uh, <laughs> It was a Russian dad joke. It was. Shut up. It was. <laughs> but they wanted to, uh, regrow, using his body, like his cells, his DNA, and all that shit, regrow his penis. Yes. So that they could reattach it. But what they decided to do, the placement <laughs> was, was a little fucked up, if you ask me. I'm because with you. I guess they wanted to use the like tender skin, like find a place that had soft skin. Mm-hmm. So they used his forearm <laughs> on his the, non-dominant hand. On his non-dominant hand, but the best that is, would be Austin Taze. Right. There's a photo of him with his arm out, and they have it pixelated. There's, <laughs> there's, there's a giant, giant dong. dong. <laughs> he paid extra to make it longer. He paid, he got an extra two, two inches. inches. Yeah. <laughs> And as they say in England, mazel tov. Yeah. <laughs> now this dude has a cock hanging off of his forearm. <laughs> and he's just posing for pictures with his sleeves rolled up. <laughs> well, he can't put his sleeves down. <laughs> He'd be buying three X. Oh, my God. The best. You wonder if you take a piss like Spider-Man. Just like stick his arm out. <laughs> I'd be doing that shit all day. <laughs> hey, do you know where I can find fucking like yeah. Canterbury Square? Here yeah, you go. <laughs> the big floppy cock hanging off your arm. No, they, These are like a divining rod. I found water. Do you think he has to get dress shirts with an elastic waist on his left yeah. arm? <laughs> Every one of his roll up sleeves is flesh colored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, plus he's in England, so he had to pay extra for foreskin. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's got forearm foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this story. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, you, when I saw it. The, the pixelated the, the, picture is amazing. It's a, it's a pixelated picture in the headline of him with his arm out with the dong hanging off of it. It's like he was posing for a most likely to succeed picture in the yearbook. Yeah. And he just has his pixelated <laughs> fucking dick on his arm. It was more like most likely to recede. Yeah. Uh, You're going to lose your dick. Dude, dude, he said, one of my, when I read this, one of my favorite quotes was, he said, when I saw it on my arm for the first time, I was so, so proud. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. <laughs> no, this is fucking amazing to me. Imagine this guy working out at the fucking gym. <laughs> doing <laughs> jumping jacks. <laughs> He's doing curls with three dumbbells. He keeps lifting those ropes on CrossFit, <laughs> slapping the guy next. I was going to say Doc Ock, but Doc Cock is... Spooderman. Yeah. 
Spewerman. You know the worst part? I, I think he's this is doing jumping jacks. He thinks he's helicoptering <laughs> on his fucking arm. Um. <laughs> what does your ear hurt? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see him walking up to his wife like hey, check it out <laughs> touch it <laughs> can you imagine that every night you give her progress like oh it's almost there yeah. <laughs> so this we'll just cut this thing off his forearm and reattach it yeah it's, ju- it's and- just the shaft his balls were fine it yeah. was just the shaft that fell right off can you imagine walking around with balls and no dick <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get a break from that <laughs> <laughs> just balls just balls that's it what you making there tons of sperm nowhere to go <laughs> I am literally a jizz factory but wait till my elbow gets involved <laughs> he looks like one of those things you put on your desk to pass the time just a bunch of balls yes. <laughs> I would paint eyes and a mustache over it so it looked like snidely whiplash <laughs> 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 Put a cigar with it for the Christmas yeah. card. <laughs> like a giant fucking chin. <laughs> Just, it's like Ted dancing. <laughs> uh, but this poor motherfucker lost his back on. Now he's growing on his arm. And they're going to reattach it. Now he's let me ask you this. We got to ask. I, I, I alluded it to it in the intro, but <gasps> we've all thought of it. <laughs> Everybody at this table has thought of it, no matter how out of shape we are. Everybody at this table has thought about it just once. I wish I was athletic enough to suck my own dick. Yes. <laughs> this guy no longer needs to be. No. <laughs> he does it. Would you, would you do it? <laughs> Probably. <Yeah>. It's mine. <laughs> Hashtag no homes. <laughs> You just like see him like kick back on the couch and flop his arms <laughs> behind his head like, to relax. This is a dick dangling into his armpit. His balls tighten up, seemingly aware of what's yeah. going on. Hey, can you check my pulse? I'd just go to bars and be like, I bet you 10 bucks I got a giant schlong under my sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> but my arm gets more ass than you do all night. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he doesn't eat with his elbows on the table. It'll be great. (laughs) (laughs) Not letting that joke go. (laughs) Can you pass that? Never mind. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He wants four plays, just throwing his arms around. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing that. a little elbow grease won't fix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good when we get back in our wheelhouse. Oh, yeah. my God. Can you, like, can you imagine for a minute being at a bar and like there's some guy pissing you off and you just like smack him with your yeah. dick <laughs> just to prove a point? Just, just like, backhand him yeah. like whap, whap, whap. <laughs> and, and you do knock it. his glasses off like <laughs> and you do it just outside of the bartenders you'd be like yeah I just used my dick to slap that guy's glasses I can't argue no yeah he's not you win you win that bar bet too lying. fucking beautiful I love I love this man I want to follow up on him to see how well me too works. I want to track yeah definitely it'd be great though it. every now and then his elbow just sticks out every time he gets turned <laughs> off <laughs> It'll be worse is if they cut it off and they don't get it all and he starts growing a second one. <laughs> it's like shark teeth. Yeah. <laughs> but that one's bigger, so he wants to swap them out. <laughs> cox here. Got Se- cox. The second one's way better. <laughs> Every time his his wife touches his balls, he can't make a fist. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if he grew one without a fucking turtleneck. Jesus Christ, take care of that shit. Yeah. Clean yourselves. 
Oh, shit. Got your own built-in <laughs> cocksock. I don't care. I turn off a porn immediately as soon as I see somebody jerking off and then the head of his dick disappears. Yeah. There's nothing worse than that. Why is the snail gone? <laughs> Fucking horrible. And yeah, I'm focused on the girl in the picture. Don't make any jokes. Uh, but hey, you got to put yourself in it. Yeah. You got to be there. You, oh, oh, my, my God. God. Yeah. That All poor right. motherfucker. I would love if this happened in Houston. Yeah. Because you heard what happened this Because I just fucking have a plane ticket right now. <laughs> what would a Texan do with a dick on his arm? Yeah. He'd be driving around in a pickup going, Woo! Woo! <laughs> Actually, can we call Matt? With his arm out the window right. doing that thing like when you're on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> make your, your arm make, waves. Make your arm go up and down. <laughs> Did you ever get a blowjob at 80 miles an Did hour? It. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> just stick your arm out. I'd have my dick flicking coins just, into toll booths. <laughs> dick just flapping like a streamer. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> what if you work at McDonald's and this guy comes through the drive through yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could just stack the onion rings right on there. <laughs> Make it like a children's toy. Can you do that for me? Start big. Taper up. <laughs> the worst is it's just slowly rubbing on the fucking charity things for the children's hospital. <laughs> He's dragging his dick across Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. <laughs> All ten of these kids in this photograph are going to die within a year. I got schmegma for the kids. Oh my god! He got tan on his dick. He got yeah, tan on yeah, his dick. Got tan his dick. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Like he can legit get a farmer's tan. Like one side of its tan, this side is totally white. <laughs> Just the head where it was hanging out of the wrist of his sleeve is all red. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can piss while he's driving home. Is that normal? Keep thinking the car in front of you is just dropping vinegar. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! You ever wonder if we did the show out of order? I'm feeling that right now. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I was oh, bringing up shit. taxes. We oh, gotta that's up, right. We got to bring up taxes real quick. Um, we love taxes. We got yeah. friends in Texas. Mm-hmm. I got family in Texas. Texas does things a little bit their own way. And that's one thing. I mean, it's not like Florida, though, where Florida just gets everything wrong. Texas yeah. may be going through a bad time right now, but ultimately Texas has been Texas. Yeah, for the from the beginning of time, and they're still maintaining their full Texicity. Yeah, Texas always looks out for the best interest of Texas, so they have some goal in mind. Whereas yeah. Florida's just like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I retired here, or I was born here, and I don't know anything else. Yep. There is no intermediary space. Like that's it. Right. Yeah. But Houston decided to innovate, and that's something I appreciate at all times. And Houston decided to become America's. The home of America's first drive through strip club. <laughs> you would assume it would be Florida or Vegas. Yeah. Would have jumped on this. <laughs> I mean, really, any strip club for an extra 50 bucks, can't you drive through any stripper you want anyway? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I must be ugly because I was never 50. <laughs> and it was always like 200 bucks, and then there was like the night pass. The night pass. Night pass. <laughs> Never got that that fifty dollar offer. Just a little handy, but uh, Houston decided it was going to build the drive through strip club. So what it did was find an abandoned lot, basically put up walls around it, and allow you to drive through, and you can hang out for two songs. It's like a fu- really? like a drive in theater, but it's it's like they walled it off, so from the street yeah. you can't yeah, you see can't what's see happening. It. It's it's set back too. But okay, they're, they're, like there's no peepers around. They got little they got little fucking speakers that you can put in your fucking car window so you can hear the ping pong ball pop out. <laughs> yeah. Just some kid in the yeah. shed making macaroni and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can actually hear her promising, like, sad little businessmen that, okay, yeah, you can save me. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Making these little whispers of, I'll be with you forever. (laughs) 
But yeah, you can drive through. You can park your car next to the stage, which is properly distanced. And then she will dance there in a G-string, fully topless. And she will dance to your song and even take requests. And she will also accept the cash right out of your hand. So there goes the distance <clears throat> thing right, right. Yeah. there. Yep. But you're driving through like you're... And then stuff it in her ass crack. G-string. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like... <laughs> So it's like sitting front row of a stage at a strip club. Yeah, and yeah. you do it. And what they do is they, they do it in shifts. So basically, imagine you're at an amusement park. Everybody gets on the car at the same time. Yeah. So then everybody gets to go on for two songs, and then you drive out. And if you want to get back in line, that's on you. Yeah. And they're doing it, and it's all for tips. I mean, I don't even think they're charging admission. Really? So I think it's just something they're doing to keep the girls happy. While, yeah. they're, while they're unemployed. Yeah. Like during old these boy from England's time. like, here's my money. Yeah. Arm out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Dick flopping off. Yeah. <laughs> Nine bounces arrive. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> Just drapes it over his dick like it's wet laundry out to dry. <laughs> Sucks. All those guys aren't wearing sweatpants anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for that fucking lap dance. But I you gotta there's hand two, it to him. There's two things. Yeah, there's two things with this. Um I don't want to go to a strip club that bad. Right. Like, you know, there's the internet, for one thing. Well, what if but you're shaving one of them? One of you're a regular, and you're, like, you're there for the buffet, the- and you're there for the early shift. And- well, you're fucked up. But those are the people that keep the lights on. It's true. Yeah. I get that. But my, I would never go to a strip club in Texas. Why not? Well, because everything's bigger in Texas. They say. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm so I'm good, you know. You can get clit smacked there so easy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a doorstop. Like, just well, spring looks that like thing a right shark in. fin. <laughs> like, <it's> just, <laughs> Welcome to Texas. If you look close enough, you can see Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I'd look right past it and find New Mexico. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> We just, fucked up our geography, but whatever. You guys yeah, get the point. Yeah. But looking the other way, I don't. I mean, that's just <laughs> fucking. To me, that's just fucked up. Like, I, well, like Brad said, you're getting the the regulars. The, yeah, I didn't you're, think that's about, who yeah. you're getting. There are no casual. Like, this isn't like, hey, you guys want to drive in after this business meeting? <laughs> There's no bachelor parties going down no, here. Yeah. There's none but, of that mess. But this is the people that keep these girls. But paid. I guess yeah, that's the thing is I never thought about it. Like every time I think of. Of a strip joint thing and bachelor party, right? Or just something stupid. Like there are you know, people who eat lunch there. Daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are, are yeah. people who drink there like it's their regular bar. Yeah, and uh, you know you got to give it. And to they the- treat it like that. They treat it like the local hometown bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And pl- I've been to some strip clubs that are cheap enough. It's cheaper. Yeah. Then you're. Yeah. Why wouldn't? Which you? is why they yeah. go for the buffet. You spend five bucks on food and shit, and yeah, they're expecting you to stay and throw money at the girls. I, I had a very serviceable <laughs> steak. I at think a strip about club eat, once. eating at a fucking strip club. I'm like, Ugh. oh no, I've had good. I've had good food at strip clubs. Really? Uh, I don't know. It was on Squirter night. <laughs> <laughs> Moist and delicious. <laughs> Chef rings the bell, reaches over the counter, cock flops off his arm. <laughs> Could you imagine square tonight at a drive thru? You got to use your wipers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my You'd God. You beep your horn, they call the place honkers. It'd be. <laughs> Honkers. Is that the... I wish that was the name of it. I, you know what? Given Texas, I'm going to throw it to them. I think they named it I think it's, it should be oh, Honkers. But you literally God. just lean on the horn. When she does something particularly good, lean on that horn. Yeah. Fuck oh it. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> like she's doing 40 in the fucking passing <laughs> lane. Just lean on that fucking... <laughs> I'm just thinking last week we talked about water parks. This week we talked about strip clubs. They could both be called Water Wiz. <laughs> Everybody says you guys don't never have a narrative thread. Yep, there you go. No, there it is. Oh yeah, we do. God. What the fuck? Uh, if you get desperate enough in the middle of Texas, would you go to a drive through strip club just to say you did it? I might do it just to say I did it, like just to say, like, oh yeah, I went through it. Right. But other, no, there's no there's no appeal beyond no the novelty. I guess no. of it. Yeah. 
I was never duped by strip clubs. I had friends that were mm-hmm. like we where we went, and and they're like literally looking at me like, dude, she I think she likes me. Like no, oh, no, yeah. she don't. She likes your wallet. No, she likes your wallet. Yeah, she likes you. You keep fucking stuffing fives in her fucking ass. You know what I mean? I just never had that appeal for. Her. No, this is. I different. mean, I've gone there watching good-looking girl dance with her boobs out, and I'm like, cool. But I was never right. like, I need to come back here tomorrow. What was that, that joint was, you went to down in Florida? Mario's? Mario's. It was Mario's. fucking like, it was like you were in the school gym. And the <laughs> come fucking, on. It had fucking fluorescent lights. It was lit up like you were it in Walmart. had that buzzing. <laughs> yeah. It was lit. It was fucking bright as day. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? They literally had fluorescent lights like, like you'd see in a store. Oh, the whole place was lit up. That's you can no actually fun. see where their dad missed the dance recital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was fucking. It was the worst. <laughs> and all they had was those circle couches, like you know those, like the couches, like you'll see somewhere, like in the middle of a lobby, where it's a circle. Yeah. They had just those all over the place. Oh it was my just god! All sweaty dudes that <sighs> wanted to jerk off bad and couldn't. And it's broad daylight, and girls just walking around. It was fucking gross. Oh my god! I just love that it's named Mario's. Like it's yeah, it a me. Was, yeah, it was, right? na- it was named a, Mario's. It's a sandwich shop. Yeah, that's not a strip club. Yeah, it was it's named a Mario's. Fucking video game, Mario's. Yep. Needless to say, it's closed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got head next door at Luigi's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so stupid. Oh my god. No. Yeah, I went there for a bachelor party. It was I was like, right when we walked in the door, I thought like it was bright, and I'm thinking, all right, this is like the front room, like you go yeah, in. Yeah, the, where, go, where's the yeah? You know, and I and I'm like, I walk in, and I'm like, it's a literally an open room that's fucking a hundred by a hundred. I'm like, what that's the insane. fuck? Bright as the bright lights as would day. kill me. Yeah, because oh. I you, you, part of the strip club mystique is it's feeling like you're not being and, seen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you go there to hide. Nobody wants to be found in a fucking strip club unless you're at a bachelor party. Yeah. Like if I go there after work and I admit I used to do this in DC all the time because I had no friends and nothing to do. Yeah. And so I used to go out and there was a strip club right up the block and it was cheaper than the fucking bar near my apartment. Yeah. So I went there yeah, and I yeah. you know, you see some pussy on top of a cheap Coors Light. I was all over it, you yeah. know. But eventually they started noticing I was a regular and the girls started hammering you for fucking money. Yeah. Coming and watching us every day. What are you going to do? And then the bouncers got involved. And let me tell you, that regular bar became an unregular bar. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because they realize you're getting free looks. The whole idea there is to get the lap dance. Yeah. I got invited to a back room once and by a girl that, frankly, I didn't want to go near me. She smelled like tuna. Oh. (laughs) Just to keep it the theme of the night. She was not somebody I wanted to enter. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Exit only, and that's exactly what I did, and so that was it, man. No, nah, it's 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 a stupid fucking. I don't, I mean, it's not stupid. I get it. Like I said, bachelor party and stuff, but I couldn't imagine just like, it's, oh, I'm going there for fucking in this day of date GPS and eggs. Though. Well, I usually yeah, like right do that. Like, but it's it's yeah. it's some it's some aspect of what we were used to trying to get back to some sense of hey, you can still come back to us. We know you used to come here and sit at the bar or do whatever, but you can still come back. As we speak, bars are going to be opening up. Uh, bars are already open here yeah. with very, very strict limitations. That includes plexiglass and or plastic separating you from the bartender. Right. That means uh, one seat at a table for every person in the bar. You cannot walk around with your drink. I used to. Craig can attest to this. Every time we hung out at the bar... I would walk around. I didn't like sitting. Yeah, I, I did it. Or I, I like wandering. Yeah, or even yeah. if you were Can't sitting, do it. I was standing behind you because I was talking to you. But then I would move down, talk to whoever else, Sanjay, whoever right. else was there. I like doing that. And then on top of it, we saw it a few weeks ago when we were out with at the club with Cycle. You can stay in one place with no mask, but the instant you move around, a mask has to it's be gonna on. Go on. Yeah, it's going to change the way we go to bars. Yeah, so I, I give them credit for trying to keep things going. Agreed. But are you getting a strip club experience two songs at a time? You no. got serious fucking problems in your car. Up. In your car, what are you going to do? Beat off in your fucking car? Yeah. Two songs. I, you know that's happening. I bet that's Definitely, what most yeah, people are doing. That's what's happening. Those guys yeah. are pulling up. God bless no Naga Hyde. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> no, then he, windshield wipers on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Enough of this normal sex shit, though. 
<laughs> enough of this normal yeah, sex. Nah, let, yeah. let, let's get into the abnormal sex, the shit that we really like to dive into here. And I think it's time we do a roundup. Yeah. Uh, a headline that I've been dying to read all week, so if you guys will allow me. Please. A Greek Orthodox priest says gay people are caused by pregnant women having anal sex. The fact that it's Greek makes this even funnier. Yeah, it, 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 exactly. <laughs> they pioneered this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they pioneered They were the Daniel Boone of butt sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> how on earth does anybody Greek have a problem with just a little bit of anal? How is there any fucking reproduction in fucking? <laughs> like Greece should have died out thousands yeah. of years ago. It's just like the second you land the plane, they're like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> the necropolis is all fucking red, white, blue, yellow. The the <laughs> necropolis is a description of their sexual preference. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, yeah, basically ruins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I know Cyclops. He's down here. <laughs> He's winking. <laughs> But we wanted to see what other strange medical condi- uh, connections do we need to know. Oh, that well, obviously, if, if gay, gay people are caused by pregnant women having anal sex, well, of course, there's other medical conditions that happen we should know about. Yeah. And, and if uh, there aren't, we'll make them up. And, <laughs> I, had, and I had one that um, pregnant women having anal sex leads to priests. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but if you have an extra finger, it's because your dog was licking someone's balls during sex. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. If you have an extra That's finger, you're probably going to find some girls that smell like tuna. <laughs> you'll, and you'll also have a Greek boyfriend at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I said sitting on cold cement after some violent doggy style with a motorized rubber dong attached to the wall causes hemorrhoids. <laughs> a lot of parentheses in there, but okay. Um, the other thing I learned was uh, giving blowjobs leads to your children smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Found out that conjoined twins are the result of eating too many pig's feet. <laughs> <laughs> too many. <laughs> what is too many? One is too many. Well, when your kids come out looking like one kid, you've had too right. many. <laughs> I said uh, eating dinner with uh, with documented Egyptians causes unrest in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> documented Egyptians. <laughs> if you're stuck and you're cool. <laughs> The paperwork makes a difference. <laughs> That's their brown and green card. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you, uh, you here illegally? Bring on, bring on the tacos. We're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Egyptian tacos. <laughs> we're all inclusive here. Yeah, exactly. That's the plus, an LGBTQ plus. What do you put with the pork? Sphinx. Yep. <laughs> after, after some research, I discovered that dimples are the result of being rammed in the face several times with a dick while still in the womb. <laughs> Medically solvent. Yeah. I'm so glad I don't have any. <laughs> I'm sad that I do. Uh, if you've got red hair, that's because someone was taking too many golden showers while you were in the womb. <laughs> That's actually a good transition to mine, because if you live in Buffalo, it produces wet midgets. (laughs) 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 I found out that uh, watching too much Sesame Street leads to jerking off into socks. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just imagining Bert. Are we all imagining Bert? I know I am. Uh, excessive flatulence has been linked to bestiality. <laughs> there you go. It's like it, it calls them in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually said masturbation causes blindness. When you jizz in the faces of the hookers you have tied up against yeah. their way. <laughs> uh, my last medical fucking finding, finding 
was that uh, Facebook accounts lead to an expertise in politics and science. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I found that proper punctuation turns you into a wasp. Nice. <laughs> and I only have one more as well because Craig took my last one. But I'm going to say learning English by playing Boggle results in the founder of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well oh, done. Shit. Yep. Well done. You got That's anything else? I had one more. I don't know if it's worth it, but... Let's hear it. Um, it turns out pedophilia is due to a blindly devout belief in an archaic religion and being celibate while living with dozens of other men for decades or teaching third grade English. <laughs> Did you have a long version of that? <laughs> well, this was a long roundup because it just had to it be. It just had to be. It, it exactly. necessitated long descriptions, It makes I sense because yeah. when you do anal, take your time. Yeah. That's right. And when Greeks bl- like blame... Other things on anal. <laughs> it's pretty. It's, right. it's pretty like impressive. It, right. We talked about Egyptians. It's like Egyptians blaming droughts on sand. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the line. All right. I thought most of their names were stuff and novelists. <laughs> <laughs> Those are usually just the words you hear coming out of the pillow. (laughs) (laughs) A comedian named Greg Barrett did it better than anybody years ago. He actually said, I love anal sex. He goes, but I don't ever want to be the person that makes my wife do this. And if you didn't see my face, I'm sure you heard no, it. you could But yeah. yeah, but it was there. And I think you understand it. So I don't ask anymore, and neither should the Greeks. But uh, as far as making gay babies, I don't think that's the result either. No. So uh, with that, we wrap up another <laughs> meaningful, informative episode of yes. Needless to Say. If you need more information and more teaching, you want to go over to needlesstosaypodcast.com. If you want to share all of this learning and education, then you want to go spread the word at uh, represent.com slash store slash NTS podcast where you can buy shirts that spread our messaging to the world or at least the five people around you. <laughs> you want to check us out on social media on Twitter at NTS underscore podcast, on Facebook at NTS no underscore podcast, and on Instagram where apparently I've taken over and all <laughs> lowercase needless to say podcast. <laughs> Uh, Dave, do me a favor. Give another shout out to Endeavor because they just got way more popular. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah our, our friends at Endeavor Podcast Solutions. Not only are they popular, but they are very good at helping you with your podcast. They will help you get started. They will help you wrap things up, give you ideas, help you with editing, voiceovers, whatever you need. They can help you make your podcast better. That's EndeavorPodcastSolutions dot com. And because you haven't talked anything meaningful in a while, Craig, take us out. Needless to say, we said it. Awesome. Boys. Straight through. Actually, I'm telling you, in the middle. This was was, was straight fucking fucking through. Straight through.